Thanks a lot for joining us tonight, Max. Uh, Wasted Youth Crew is your company. Uh, let's throw it over to Brian to start this thing out. So, Max, uh, great job on how uh, many things you've accomplished at such a young age. Uh, very impressive, sir. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy many years of success. Uh, so where'd you grow up anyway? Uh, I was born in Toronto, Canada, and I lived there for about five years. And then mm -hmm. I moved down here to L.A., and I've been here ever since. So uh, what do you remember about Canada? Uh, the weather, for sure. I remember the weather. <laughs> sure. Uh, really, my first five years there was just, like, family. And uh, I, like, just barely started school, so I don't remember too much. Yeah, yeah. You get, I, don't, I don't remember too much before. I was five either. Yeah. Uh, so you remember mostly L.A. What are your first memories of L.A.? First memories of L.A., definitely, again, the weather. Uh Honestly, the people, the people just seeing there's a very big, uh, there's a, there's a big difference in the uh, Canadian people and uh, American people for sure. <laughs> what do you think that is? Um, I'm not sure. It's just, uh, tone I think for sure. Obviously. Um, I guess if you really want to throw in accents, yeah. But, um, there's a lot more, uh, creativity out here especially than in Canada. Um, there's still a lot of creativity in Canada. However, everyone's goal here, I notice, in like the Valley for sure, is like everyone has like a creative ambition of what they're doing. I like how you put that. And especially in LA, you know, we're, we're over here in Phoenix. And so we have, you know, your weather like two days later, maybe a little hotter. You still have that nice ocean air, but we don't. But yeah. you know what? Everyone here in Phoenix, we run over to LA all the time. We run over to California all the time just to blow off steam just because the, the scenery is so good and the people so good and the vibe is so good. You know, uh, no wonder you, you probably never leave there. You're So are you still there now? I am still there. Um, I visit Canada every once in a while, but I'm I'm. I visit Canada. Mm. Oh, well, we great. know we know. Uh, I mean, you know, we love your dad. So why don't you tell uh, our nice viewers about your mom and dad and how great they are? My parents are great. Uh, my dad is an actor, and he's been doing it for a long time, and I'm very proud of both of them. My mom, uh, she has a lot of styling things, thrifting, personal blogger on Instagram. You know, they're both influencers. And I look up to them both very much with what I do. When you were a kid, how did, when did you figure out that your dad was actually in movies and stuff? <laughs> hmm. Uh, honestly, I figured out when we moved here because that's why we moved. We moved from my mm -hmm. dad's acting career. Um, mm -hmm. So even at five, you're pretty much smart enough to understand this is about <laughs> – acting in movies and stuff and we we're going to the place where it all happens and stuff right yeah 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 so you're you're a smart kid and um so how come that i mean that's not why we're here today though i mean <laughs> we'll get into that in a minute but did that ever pique your interest i mean max you know you know you're young and good looking and you have a doorway right into the acting profession and you've sidestepped it yeah yeah um Acting for me was, um, this was my alley. I had some things that I've done, you know, I've, uh, I've tried it before and I wasn't bad at it either. I've been doing it for a long time just cause I've been around it. Like my, my dad's side of the family, like most of them act and like, yeah. But, um, I just, I don't know. I didn't find it entertaining. I saw it was really what my dad did a lot. So I just didn't, I don't think I found entertainment for me personally, but honestly now, if the offer came around, I was there like, oh, we need you to do this. I'd be able to do it. No problem. Hmm. Maybe later on down the line. But right now, we're here to talk about what you're doing right now, which I don't know too much about, which is uh, uh, what do you call it exactly? Your profession. What, do you, what is your professional title? What do you think? My professional title, I'd say, is fashion designer for sure. Fashion designer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What do you do? What is that? I, well, for my clothing line, uh, some of the stuff I got right here, uh, what I do, um, I go out, I go out thrifting and I try and upcycle. So what I do is when there's uh, pieces that are going uh, into the landfill, I'll take them and I'll flip them to something new 
and I'll let wow. the people buy it. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. What got you started in all that? Sir? What really got you started in that? What got me started in that? Um, mm -hmm. I'd say around sophomore year of my high school was when it really started. Um, you know, I started trying to dress up more, really getting like into how I looked and presented myself with my fashion mm -hmm. and my art. And, um, and then I started a mini crew of people, you know, and it wasn't really focused on clothing at first. It was really just all about um, driving creativity. So, you know, we had like musicians, skaters, artists. Mm. We had a lot of stuff going on. You know, slowly the, the idea of that kind of died down. And around 2020, when I was still making the pieces by myself, just because I was born in those points and I had nothing else to do, I wanted to express myself. So I made my first collection on October 3rd, which is my birthday, actually. Um, I made my oh, first happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I made my first collection then and I dropped it and people enjoyed it. So I've been doing it ever since I would just. And it just clicked with me when you said skaters, musicians. I'm like, of course, everyone wants to personalize something. And this guy just found a way to do that. And yeah. wow, that can really, you know, so you've enjoyed a success. I mean, how long has this been going on now? So, I mean, this last October 3rd was two years now. Wow. Really going And yeah. it's getting bigger and bigger, huh? It's getting bigger and bigger. The biggest thing we got coming up is um, we have a music festival on the way. Talk about that a little bit. We're huge music fans. How did that, how did that come to be first? I mean, what happened sure. to get you into that? So, really, um, this last July, I did a pop-up shop. And we did it with some people, um, the Milk Room, shout out to them. But um, I had one of my friends, Wonder Julian, he, um, he's an artist up and coming. And, you know, we were, co we were collaborating with some stuff and he um, we started talking about him performing. And so he performed at the pop-up shop I did. And then the idea had me going, I was like, what if I just did like multiple artists? Cause you know, um, fashion and music uh they like intertwine so much they sure with... as heck do mm -hmm. yeah and so i was like you know that's a perfect thing for me from my clothing line you know and like all these up and coming artists that i know may as well put them together and just make something amazing for the people and that's how we came up with it sounds like you can highly customize things too right yeah yeah, yeah i can wow wow uh, sorry, Mark. Go ahead. I'm hogging the. Answers. No, I did. Were you inspired by growing up in LA to to start this? Because this is this is exactly the LA culture. You know, was it grade school? Was it high school? What was it like? Um, definitely, definitely, LA was a big part of it. Um, I also really took a lot of inspiration from uh, New York actually, because their fashion over there is really cool, and I love their artists and what they wear. So I took sure. a lot of inspiration from them um and then you know of course i took inspiration from my parents because they're both very um they're into the fashion world especially my mom she's really into it um what did you learn from her what did i learn from her um honestly a lot of my most like vital like pieces just for me when it comes to creating pieces um lots of patience and you know just timing of things you know if you can't create something like really good if you rush it. You know, I've learned that the hard way a lot of times. But um, she's taught me a lot. So has my dad. They both taught me so much about what I've been doing. What exactly does she do? Uh, my mom, she is, she works at Funko for first. Uh, oh, yeah. At, so, yeah. Um, I remember I'm talking about that now. Mm -hmm. She's a social media manager there. And she also... Her Instagram, she does a lot of things. She does, I don't know if you guys know, I'm sure you guys know, Instagram Reels. She does stuff like that. Um, yeah, I've seen them. They're so great. she'll do like style videos and stuff like that, you know, like little, little, little cute videos here and there about, um, really it's all about the thrifting culture uh, here in LA. So how are you using social media to, I mean, what's driving most of your new, new clients in? Um, 
besides social media and like um just spreading it on there and word of mouth really yeah, is, i automatically uh, say that but word of mouth is working well word of mouth is working well you know uh in person uh is always great i meet a lot of new people every day i have a job i work at starbucks so you know uh i see these creatives coming in every day and you know it's just so simple to just talk about anything what they're doing what i'm doing working together so um i get a lot of opportunities like that even if i'm just walking down like ventura or melrose you know there's creatives everywhere here so it's really just easy to network i forget about that you guys are so lucky i know <laughs> oh my god go <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go mingle <laughs> exactly. oh man yeah well, it's not quite that nice here, but we got a lot of we got a lot of things happening slowly. slowly That's good. That's slowly. good. Yeah, yeah. How often do you design like a pair of uh, Air Jordans? Air Jordans? Uh, I haven't done that in a minute. Last time I did okay. one of those was twenty twenty. I've got some shoes here that I've worked on. Oh, this nice! Is like the latest pair of shoes I did. I did a pair of female shoes actually. Oh wow! Oh, neat. Yeah. Yeah. But um. I don't do shoes too much just because, okay. you know, it's a little tricky when it comes to, like, sizing and stuff. But, um, yeah, I do. I still do a lot. I still like to do it. Well, if you want to uh, show something that you would like to, uh, you know, advertise or get out, we'd, I'd love to see it. I mean, whatever you sure. want to show right now, feel free. Okay. Well, I have I do have one thing, but it's a prototype. So it's, like, not fully finished or perfected. But sure. I am starting to do um, T-shirts for the line. So it's more of um, my line has basically been all just custom pieces. So it's like uh, mm. only one piece. And so I want quantity with this one. So, you know, everyone can. Oh, do it. OK. Mm. Smart. Yeah. But uh, here it is. It's a little bled through a little bit, but that's the design. Oh, um, yeah. The meaning behind it, it's. uh. A heart within a star. So it's like the heart of a star. You know, if you're wearing it, it's the heart of a star. It's trying to like wow. Just say that everyone's a star. That's pretty cool. And everyone, you know, I mean, can you order one yet? I mean, this is gonna be on like uh it hasn't order. released yet, but it will be available uh during November. That's one. Oh, I don't cool. have a specific cool. date yet, but I'll yeah. I'll be posting it soon. I'll definitely pick one of those up. Those would be cool. Because I know, I know, with you and and your parents behind you, psh, that thing's going to be worth so sure. much money one day. Yeah. That yeah. thing's going to be a collector. Uh, I'm going to get one of those right away. Everybody should get one of those, I swear. Anyway, so uh, what do you think is the next step? I mean, what's your uh, goal right now? My goal right now really is to just um, spread my community as much as I can with this next event. Um, you know, with Can you talk about the event then also? Yeah, of course. Um yeah, what is what is that you, you're talking about there? So the, the event is December 18th. It's called mm -hmm. Wasted World. And um really honestly it's just showing by progression because I had an event earlier this year in March on March 5th called Wasted World. And it was just a pop-up shop. I, like, rented out a small house for the day. You know, I did, like, I set up some stuff. I had a couple of vendors and me selling my stuff. But um, now this is, like, you know, like a bigger venue, like, artists, more vendors. It's going to be, like, it's going to be pretty big for me. And um, it's just showing me and my team's progression. But um, really, there's – the goal is just to have fun and, you know, really build, like, a good community. Um. Yeah, and then from there, after that, you know, we'll keep doing our shops, but hopefully there'll be more more people there. You know, we'll start branching out and slowly we'll take over the world. Very yeah. nice. Uh, Pop-up shops every seem year. real popular, don't they? Nowadays. Sorry? Pop-up shops, they seem real popular nowadays. It seems like oh, a lot yeah. of people are doing them. A lot of the uh, other clothing uh, designers that I look up to, when they do pop-up shops, they'll just do it like spontaneous and like the streets will be like closed, shut down. It's the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Huh. LA How culture, often does yeah. that happen? That would be great. i never seen anything, stuff like that happen. I'm not sure how often it happens. Uh, there's at least one that I know, like once a month. 
Once a month. Cool. Wow. I wonder what it takes to arrange something like that. Well, you should know. I mean, what has to what has to be done to make that happen? Um, well, for me personally, I mean, I'm sure everyone's different, but um depending what when I used to do when I wasn't hosting them, uh is you know, I just I'd go and look around for like free uh places that I can use or like friends that I can use the their you know spot on the street or whatever um stores and like the first ever pop up shop I did was at a salon actually and um you know I paid the person like fifty dollars maybe and yeah. they let me use the the space for the day with some other people but uh as of lately what I do is just the same thing you know I uh, I find a spot I'll use it and then I'll have the people who pay me the vendor fee and then yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, I get it. It's nothing about the location. You just have more initiative than other people, huh? Now I get it. Yeah, very nice, man. That's very impressive. Yeah. So um yeah, yeah. So the event. So uh that's December 18th, and uh you're gonna be having all your stuff there, musicians. Wow, yeah. wow. Um is what's the location exactly on that? Is there uh this one is going to be right by Hollywood. Uh wow. I forgot the street that's called, but yeah. We'll and make so sure to promote it when it comes us, out. Yeah. You're gonna load us up with links to direct everyone right to that thing. Oh, right? of course. I would love to. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We would love to promote that as much as we can. Now, uh, what is your inspiration behind your designs? Behind my designs, hmm. I get a lot of inspiration just honestly from my every my day to day, honestly. For example, like the heart of a star, you know, when I was feeling like uh very low in my confidence level, I just had to like really remember like who I am and like what I've done. And I feel like everyone deserves to do that. So that's where the heart of a star came from. I feel like everyone should deserve to know what they're worth and that they are a star and they will do something one day. And um other stuff is really just like my day to day. Uh, for example, this piece, yeah, right here. This is the outline of uh, actually a plant from my old uh, apartment building where I used to live. Wow, and, uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, I had a really strong connection with that place, and ever since I moved, you know, I was like, I gotta make something out of it. So I made that piece. That yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, do, does anybody like say hey i want you to do this for me do you ever do jobs like that i do do jobs like that um i'm not sure if now people know that actually i um i posted it a couple times that i do custom bleach work which is why i work with a lot yeah. I work with, uh, bleach and dye a lot so if there's like a old jacket or like pants or a shirt whatever they want they can come to me and i'll, I'll give them like a charge or whatever or fee and then i'll customize it and make it for them so that plant, I mean, that that took a certain technique to where you had to get the outline of the plant and not, sh I don't know how you just got sharp edges like that, but could you do that with like other things? I mean, if you can do it with a leaf, what else could you do? Um, At this point, I could do, I could do a lot. Layers actually. and stuff. I mean, I could, I could try and do layers, but um. Hmm. Basically, all I need is like an object, and I can do the outline of it with a Ooh. system called solar printing, which is what I've been investing in lately. Um, hmm. It's basically you might have started something there. Yeah, it's a it's a paint that you can use, and you put whatever you want out in the sun, or you print out an image. Like for example, the here's the heart of a star image. Oh. Um, you print it out or you just grab a random object, you know, you let it sit in the sun for like 20 minutes with some Pyrex glass over it. You take it off and throw it in the wash and it'll come out. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like a sun curing technique. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, you don't even need to do anything. It's just the sun. <laughs> How did you find out about that? That right there would sell. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, a lot of digging. A lot of digging. I found that out. Uh, I found it one day on Pinterest when I was looking for uh, more efficient ways to create quantity, like I was saying, for the T-shirts and uh, quality as well. 
because I want um, – and I'm always trying to improve. I'm always trying to be better. So I was looking really for quality, and I, I think I found it. <laughs> Max, I have this vision. I have this vision of your channel and you sit there and you talk about these different techniques every day with your cool hair and your good looks and you sit there and fund yourself and do, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I think what you're doing right now, people would just tune in. Oh yeah. Just tune in to see what you're doing to some shoe, some, some blouse. I don't know. I think you really, you should uh, really branch out into it. But what's cool is you go out into the people. It seems yeah. like that's where you uh, feel your connection. Yeah, no, I really do feel my connection just with everyday um, people. I have a strong relationship with like a lot of my friends too. We love to work together. Um, yeah, no, but I really, I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Do you have a certain area of LA that you focus in when you go out? Uh, I'm sure Boulevard. That's where I'm always oh, at. Nice. Yeah. That's where I spend most of my time. Um, I work this on that. This is in Sherman Oaks, right? The Sherman Oaks area? Yeah, Sherman Oaks. You know, right. I work on that street. Uh, I shop on that street. I eat on that street. It's like, no matter where I am, I'm probably on that Oh, yeah. We have a lot in common. I used to work on Sherman Oaks, I mean, on uh, Ventura Boulevard, too. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. So yeah. it's just easy. Wow. Well, let's say theoretically some kind of money bomb got dropped on you, you know, because someone got really impressed. What would you do with it? What would I do with it? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I probably honestly invested really into the brand. Honestly, I really do believe that I can take this somewhere. Um, quality is what really matters, in my opinion. You know, if it's a one of one piece and it's like one of the best pieces ever in the world. Mm. That's perfect to me. Um, oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Two seconds. Yeah, no you're fine. Um, yeah, no. Uh, quality really matters to me. But other than that, I it's really just about investing in myself and um, in my future as well. You know, I'm 18, so I got a lot a lot to go, you know, with uh, living on my own in the future, all that good stuff. <laughs> but you've accomplished so much, even in high school to start this. I mean, we are very impressed. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Um, it'll only get better. <laughs> what do you say to someone who wants to follow in your footsteps, Max? Hmm. I say really it's all about um, confidence and patience. Confidence and patience are the two keys. If you're not confident in what you do, then you're not going to go anywhere. And if you rush anything, then it won't come out well. And those are two probably main lessons I've learned over doing this. I've rushed so many pieces and made them bad. And I've had so many like points where I was like, should I do this? Should I not? And then I end up missing a really good opportunity. Yeah, mm, yeah that's good advice. Did you ever want to do anything else at all? Is is this the only thing you've ever really lit up on? Or have you ever tried anything else? Maybe when you're a little younger or something? When I was a little younger. Only really small phases, really. Um I had I had the little the little actor phase. I had the little artist phase. Um what else did I have? I want to be, I did want to be a musician at one point, but you know, it just, it's not really for me. I do it for fun sometimes, but mm -hmm. yeah, as, as of now, it's really only been this. I do modeling as well. Actually, I do model. That's one of my passions. Talk about that. Yeah. I've seen some um, of your videos on Instagram. Yeah. I, uh, actually, I haven't had a ton of modeling opportunities. But one of the latest ones I did, I walked for a fashion show to your anniversary of uh, this shop. They, uh, Their name is The Milk Room. I talked about them earlier just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I I've do... heard of it. As someone who lived in L.A., I think I've heard of it, pretty sure. Yeah, I do some work with them, actually. Um, but yeah, I walked for their fashion show. Um, I got signed back in, like, 2021. And... Uh, yeah, no, I've just I've just been doing, doing small things for like for me and for like my friends who are photographers or videographers. I do small things for them. Wow. 
We've had a very impressive run so far already. I know you've uh, just uh, kind of got out of the gate, but good for you doing so well. So I guess you're going to have a ton more success. Uh, I can't wait to see where this thing goes. And I hope you come back, you know, uh, maybe uh, for a little talk right before your show or right after your event or something, right before yeah. your event, something like that, whatever's good for you. Because, yeah, we'd like to uh, uh, promote that as much as possible. That sounds great. Of course. Um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. All right. All no, right. This is quite impressive. I mean, you grew, you did you grow up in the arts, like in in school? Were you big into the arts, or? Um, I say I was. I uh, I started mainly in elementary. I had a really good art teacher. Um, she really tried like grinding me to get into art and like doing more. Um, middle school, it died off a little bit, but it really escalated with the last school that I was in, uh, Champs Charter High School. Uh, it's all about arts. And okay. so what I was in, I was in a digital media program. And so that taught me how to Photoshop and that taught me a lot. I mean, it taught me a lot more than that. But um, that was... So amazing. you must have had some good mentors there. Oh, 100%. Uh, Mr. Vin Mr. Vince Campy, uh, he was... Really, probably my biggest mentor there. Um, and then another one is Mr. North. He helped me work on. A, he let me do a fashion show at the school. Actually, that was my first in that ever fashion show. Oh yeah, I'm sure yeah. they appreciate you uh, shouting them out like that. That's very nice. Yeah. What is the difference between that and a regular high school? Because we had a guy on in Philadelphia, and he went to a performing arts high school, like Fame. I was so okay. jealous. I never even heard. I of know. Such a thing. And I'm you right. go to one. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> um it's i think there is a big difference i think um the culture is different obviously i think i mean i obviously haven't been to an my high school but from what i've heard it's um when there's someone with like the creative passion for example like me it's not always super support uh super supported by other class fellow classmates but at this school is like Everyone was creative. Everyone had their own passion and everyone supported each other. So there was really no wrong at that school. I mean, there was really no creative wrong at that school. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, I think that's the main difference was um, the support you get from other people in that area. That is and a very cool perspective. It makes it very attractive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. do you think you would have been able to go to one of these in uh, Canada, in Toronto? You're probably much better off in LA that way. That way. Um, honestly, I don't think there's a lot of schools like that in Canada, at least that sure. I know of. Yeah. I mean, actually, that is not true. The first school okay. that I ever had was like actually kind of similar, but it was just for like kindergartners. It was an art school. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I don't really count that, but it the little area that is in, I forgot what it's called, but um. It's like a little small alleyway it leads to like a almost like a little town, and it's like literally all about art. Mm. So there's sculptures everywhere. There's like museums. It's a whole thing. It's okay. really cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah. What about your musical interests? What are what are your what music style? What what are some of your favorite musicians? Favorite musicians. Um, it really depends. I'm really into rap. Uh, that's my main favorite. I, I mean, I very I like rock. I like jazz. I like classical. I like it all. But um, my favorite artists, I love people. It can be like from like old timers like MF Doom or Biggie. I love those people. Or like new timers like um, ASAP Rocky, Lil Yachty. I love I love a lot. I really do love a lot. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <clears throat> so how many people, do you have anybody working with you or are you like a one man crew? I do have people working with me. I actually have my friend Tyler. He's sitting down over here. Um, you want to say hi? Yeah, come on, come on in, Tyler. What's going on? Come on, Tyler. Hey, Sit what's going on, man? Sit down. Yeah. yeah. Chat with us. So Don't how did you get in on this? Great. You get uh, in yeah. this from the beginning? Yeah, I've been uh, best friends with my good friend Max since we were both 11. And mm. I've watched him grow through all of his phases that he's talking about earlier. And uh, around 2020, when quarantine and all of COVID just started, is when I saw him go from here and just take off. I remember usually 
a lot of the time we lived really close to each other and we still do, but we'd have a lot of moments together where we just hang out either in the front of his apartment or some kind of place quiet and we just work on things. And it started, which I still have one of my old pieces at my house, but from drawing with markers all over just shirts and simple little designs with wasted or things that we thought were cool to now watching him screen print. So fabric transfer, all these kinds of new things. And I was like, it's a, it's a good feeling and honor to see my friend grow like that. Wow. Wow. wow so nice. while well, you guys are doing it together, you know, you're growing together. So um, uh, Max, you had already started when he came in or what? Uh, yeah, I just started. Uh, I started with an old group of people and he was part of that original crew. But, um, mm. you know. It so really you took the best one. I just <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to say anything bad. Uh, uh, you yeah, you saw talent, you saw talent, and you took it. Exactly. You know, um, we've worked on so many things together. You know, um, I've had the pleasure of working with him. He's really talented. He has uh, art that he does, and uh, especially he wants to be a tattoo artist. Actually, yeah. You know, I've been oh, working wow. on art since I was little too. Since probably around like I was fourteen. And him and I are the same age, so around four years, I've been, like, interested in art. And through certain projects that he's done, I've helped with either little, like, drawings or the way we bonded even more from just our childhood friendship was art and fashion and clothing. Uh, I never – I did have my moment, too, where I wanted to be all fashion-y. But I, as I grew and saw the talent and where both of our comfort was at a higher point, I felt it was better as an artist to just draw and help with – creating something that he could put on a shirt or something like that. And that's what made our friendship stronger. It's what made teamwork better. And just the ideas between both of that going to just to, to a whole other level. Uh, tattoo artists are on a whole different level. Yeah. If you ask me, I mean, the confidence involved, you know, I, I really don't know how you guys do it. I, it, it would be just like, um, I would love to see some of your art, uh, if I don't know if you have anything handy or something like that, you I can show. On my phone, but other than <clears> that, uh, I usually like I do all of my things on hand, mm -hmm. uh, by hand. So I have like journals at home that I have filled out. Mm -hmm. And actually, just today, I ordered a tattoo kit to start practicing on fake skin and fruits and things like that, and start practicing. Before I go on anyone, I'm gonna practice yeah. on myself first because I have my own personal artwork. And mm. things that I have in places where I can just do myself, like my leg. Um, but that's like my start right now, just getting into the flow with the machine and taking my art to another level. But this, for instance, I don't know how good you can see that, but this is something that I had drawn last night. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. serpent. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Flowers, yeah. butterfly. That's really nice. Yeah. Things like that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find. A lot of my things are either from Instagram or these are old art pieces, but a lot of black and white. Oh, white. Yeah. God, you're really nice. good. Did you put anything on clothing at all? Not yet. So that's actually what we had. We just talked about this today. Because I also work at oh. Starbucks with him. Um, <laughs> he's got off work. Um, but we're talking, good, yeah. yeah, it's a good spot. <laughs> yeah. So um, now I think within like by the time his next pop up comes up, just to throw in something or maybe just help with different designs. No, that'd be great. Now that we have more resources and things like that, and just the fact that I've been self-teaching myself since I was 14, um, taking now that skill that we both have grown, putting it together is something that I'm excited to see. I'm excited for you guys. You guys seem like a really good team. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I like your excitement and energy, and I, I think it's going to go far. And I think you should get those designs on something like shirts, too. I mean, it just seems like... Like like the the most obvious next step, you know. It's gonna wow. have to. Yeah, it's definitely something that we've talked about too. Because taking like that's another thing that grows with our friendship and our creativity. Because if something that I could provide with a piece that fits his shooting too, as a tattoo artist, I'm sure you guys. I see you have tattoos too. Like yeah. you have a certain specific like specificity that you want, or something that you want done a certain mm -hmm. way. So that's what helps with our communication. He can tell me something that he likes or wants. And then I, you know, in a way just can write that all down and take it to paper to put it to shirts, clothes or anything. So that makes like our teamwork work really good.
Dose of designs had a very anime looking feel to them in my they mind. Do, I don't yeah. know. It just looks like something that would do really well. You know, if you guys coordinated that, you know, I'm really excited for you guys just future really. So uh, it'd be interesting to see where it goes. So uh, keep all that coming and stay in touch with us. Okay. So of definitely. Of course. I'd yeah. love to. And really yeah, if you guys come down to LA and looking for a tattoo and need to get something started. Um, I'm getting all my stuff started now and then hopefully within the next couple months getting my apprenticeship in a shop so we can work something or some kind of I know there's always kind of like art galleries or shows uh, expositions so we can get mm. some wasted youth crew tattoos <laughs> get something going. I would oh, definitely nice. get a tattoo from you. I definitely would. Oh, yeah, 100%. Definitely. Yeah, I'll be there for sure. One day, one day. There we go. I know. Yeah. All in time, all in time. So what do you yeah. think, Mark? You're going to get a tattoo with me? There we go. The two yeah. He's too pretty. He's yeah. just too pretty. I can't, he's not going to do it. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it with you. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah. well, it's awesome meeting you guys. Mark, you got any more questions for these guys? No, it really was just an honor. And, you know, come back anytime you have something going on. We would love to promote you anytime. Thank so, you right thrilled. now, if you want to shout out anything on any platform, yeah, do it right promote now. your website or Instagram, whatever. Either you one like. of you, both of it, you, wherever you want people to go. His Instagram is Tyler Ocello. Mine is Maximil. And if you guys want to go to Wasted World, uh, please go to www.wastedyouthcrew.com and there's a section under shop with tickets and the tickets are only $7 up until December 18th. So there'll be more at the door, but go buy them. That's how you get in for entry and everything else. It's going to be a great time. Thank you. Guys, thank you. These, hey, these things really are going to be worth this. a lot of money <laughs> one day. We're talking oh, about yeah. a $7 investment to get in, and then you're going to get a hold of Max's stuff. And I have seen his impressive parents. It, you just want to get this done because he's going to have the same success his dad did. And, oh, yeah. uh, and these guys mom, are going to just like, yeah. Yeah, these guys are going to blow up real soon. So get in. All this information is going to be down below, everybody. Yeah. And... Just, just uh, make sure you reach out to them because, uh, you know, this is the future. I think we, you guys have really started something here and I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah. And thanks for being here. Really course, appreciate it. Yeah. Our nice pleasure. Guys, of course. Right. Our pleasure. Like Thank you. Great. Our thanks pleasure, so much, guys. guys. Love you, too. Wasted Youth Crew. <laughs> Mark right. All good right. night. All right. Have a good night, guys. See you guys. Take All care. Right. Yeah.